Golden Designs brings healthy living and longevity to the privacy and convenience of your home or office. Assembly of your new Golden Design sauna is quick and simple, requiring only two people, a few tools, and about an hour of your time. Before you know it, you'll be on your way to enjoying a therapeutic sauna session as part of your health and fitness regimen. Your Golden Design sauna can be placed virtually anywhere in your home or business. It can be installed in any indoor room you desire and on a wide variety of flooring surfaces, including tile, carpet, and laminate. It just needs a level surface and a dedicated electrical outlet close at hand. Golden Design Saunas are constructed of the highest quality reforested Canadian hemlock wood. Be assured they exceed the highest industry standards, so they heat up faster, consume less energy, and are environmentally sound. Incorporating far infrared technology, the sauna is designed to operate at a lower room temperature of 120 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit for both maximum effectiveness and comfort. The digital controls allow the heat emitters to cycle on and off to maintain the temperature without overheating. Additional features of the Golden Design Sauna include a radio CD player with built-in speakers and an auxiliary MP3 jack and color therapy lighting to maximize your sauna experience. In this segment, we will review delivery and unpacking of your new Golden Design Sauna. Assembly is swift with two people working together. Your sauna will be delivered curbside to your home in two boxes. We recommend removing freighting materials curbside and clearing the space in your home or office as the Golden Design Sauna is intended for indoor use only. Using a pair of scissors or a box cutter, remove outer boxing materials and shrink wrap, taking care not to damage the boxes themselves. Open the box and remove the contents. Inside the box you will find the Golden Design Sauna. There are three main parts of the sauna. They are the wood cabin, the infrared heat emitters, and a control system to operate the sauna. The individual parts for wood cabin assembly include the wood cabin, one floor panel, one right side wall panel, one front panel with a glass door, one left side wall panel, one rear wall panel, one roof panel, one roof cover, one bench heat emitter panel, one bench, one radio box assembly, one robe holder, five floor supports, one antenna, one MP3 auxiliary cable, one remote control, one extra temperature sensor, and one door handle assembly. Your sauna comes standard with an interior control panel, a radio, a CD, and a MP3 auxiliary input jack, a reading lamp, and built-in speakers. Optional accessories include a shelf, a magazine rack, a towel rack. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver. A battery-powered screwdriver will make assembly easier. You will also need a ladder or tall step stool and a pair of scissors. In this segment, we will review some of the important features of your sauna. First, your sauna is controlled by the power supply. The power supply is installed on the roof panel of your sauna with inputs and outputs connected to all of the components of the sauna. Through the power supply, you control power to the sauna, heat emitters, reading lamp, speakers, and other features. You can identify each of the sauna room panels as described next. Note the features of each panel that will help to identify them and orient them as you assemble the sauna room. The floor panel has a heat emitter that will be oriented at the front of the sauna room. All of the wall panels will connect to the floor panel. The rear wall panel and the front wall panel are the largest wall panels. The rear wall panel also has heat emitter panels installed in it. The front wall panel has a glass door. The right side wall panel and left side wall panels are both the same size and have heat emitter panels installed in them. When placing the side wall panels, note that the stationary glass panel in each of the side panels will go towards the front of the sauna room. As described earlier, the roof panel contains the power supply. It also contains the speakers and reading lamp. Once the sauna room is installed, the wireless harnesses, plugs, and all connections will be on the exterior side of the roof panel. In this segment, you will learn how to assemble the sauna walls. First, choose a location for your sauna. It must be level, dry, and not located near water sources. Installation also requires a dedicated 15-amp, 120-volt electrical outlet nearby. Begin by placing the floor panel upside down. 
Then align the supports by placing the labeled supports near the labels on the floor panel. Then use the included screws to attach the supports to the pre-drilled pilot holes. Then place the floor panel with the heat grids facing up and towards the front. The floor heater cord should be on the left rear of the sauna. Next, place the front wall panel on the floor panel against the wood guide inserts, and then hold the front wall panel upright. Now, place the right side wall panel on top of the floor panel against the wood guide inserts. Align the buckles on the front wall panel and the right side wall panel, and buckle the two wall panels together. Check the top of the two wall panels to make sure they are flush. Repeat these steps to secure the left side wall panel to the front wall panel. Next, place the rear wall panel on the back of the floor panel. Buckle the left side wall panel, and then the right side wall panel. Now, rest the roof panel on top of the walls at an angle that allows you to pass through the control cables. Orient the panel so the power supply is on top and towards the front of the sauna. Feed the buzzer and control wiring harnesses up through the holes in the roof panel. Then, align the roof panel with the wall panels. Be sure not to force anything, and confirm all wires are properly fed to avoid damaging them. The roof panel should sit snugly on top of the wall panels. Pull down on the roof panel slightly to make sure it is securely in place. In this segment, we'll show you how to install the sauna bench and door handle. Starting with the sauna bench, identify the bench heat emitter panel. Slide the bench heat emitter panel down using the guides on the wall panels until it is securely seated on the floor. Next, plug the bench heat emitter connector into the inlet on the right side of the rear wall. Then plug the floor heat emitter connector to the left side of the rear wall. Then make sure the finished side of the bench is facing up as you slide it into the bench guides on the wall. Optionally, you may now attach the bench to the rear wall panel using the supplied screws. Next, you will install the door handle on the glass door. If it is already assembled, carefully disassemble the two screws from the door handle. Align the outside handle with the door. Then insert the screws from inside the door and tighten the screws. Be careful not to over-tighten the screws, which could damage the door. In this segment, we'll show you how to finish assembling the sauna. First, connect the control box plugs on the roof panel. Verify the labels of the plugs and connect them accordingly. Connect the control wiring harness from the power supply to the wiring harness CTRL plug from the control panel. Then secure them using the screws on the connectors. Now connect the ends of the buzzer cord. Maneuver the temperature sensor so that it is vertical and pointing downward. If the optional shelf is included, select a location on one of the front or side panels and then secure the shelf using the provided screws. Next, mount the magazine rack near the bottom front left wall using the provided screws. Then mount the towel rack towards the middle of the right wall using the provided screws. Lastly, well install the roof cover, which is an optional installation. The roof cover installs on top of the sauna. Carefully pull the power cord through the hole in the roof cover, then gently place the roof cover onto the roof panel and align the edges. Then use the screws provided to secure the roof cover to the roof panel. Now align the three stereo box pieces using the labels to orient them, and then using the provided screw to fasten it together. Then install the assembled stereo box in the upper left corner of the cabin using the provided screw with the pre-drilled pilot holes. Then remove the two shipping protection screws from the stereo. Now connect the stereo wire harness to the cabling you inserted down through the roof of the cabin. After you've connected the cabling, simply slide the stereo into the stereo box. Now let's learn how to operate your sauna. First, make sure all components are properly installed and connected to the sauna control box. Then plug the sauna power cord into the electrical outlet and press the power button one time. The power light will come on, and the time display on the control pad will display a preset time. The temperature display should show degrees Fahrenheit, and the control panel will flash. To adjust the temperature, first select Fahrenheit or Celsius by pressing the FC button. Then press the temp button to scroll using the up and down arrows to adjust the setting. To adjust the length of time you want the sauna to stay on, press the time button, and you can now scroll using the up and down arrows to adjust the setting. Once you have set these adjustments, press the start button. 
If you do not press the Start button within 5 minutes, the control panel will shut off. Once you press the Start button, the heat emitter panels will start generating heat. The sauna room will slowly warm up to reach your desired temperature setting. Remember that, just like opening an oven door when it is preheating, opening the sauna door before it has reached the desired temperature may prolong the amount of time necessary to reach your set temperature. Five minutes before the set session time is over, the buzzer will sound for approximately 15 seconds to warn you. At that time, you can either allow the time to run out or you can adjust the time remaining by pressing the temp button and then the up or down arrow on the control panel. When you are resetting the timer, the control panel will flash and the heat emitters will stop generating heat. When you have finished adjusting the time, press the start button twice. The control panel will then stop flashing and the heat emitter panels will start generating heat again. If you do not press the start button twice within 5 seconds, the control panel will revert back to its previous settings. Note that heating times can vary and can be affected by the indoor temperature. Generally, it should take approximately 20 to 30 minutes to bring the sauna room heat up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius. The cooler the ambient temperature around the sauna room is, the longer it will take to preheat the sauna room. It is recommended that you start using the sauna room as a set temperature of 115 degrees Fahrenheit or 46 degrees Celsius and remain in the sauna at that temperature for about 15 to 20 minutes. As you become more comfortable with using the sauna, you can gradually increase the temperature and time period you are in the sauna to satisfy your personal preference. When the sauna room temperature reaches the setup value, the digital control will regulate the heat and maintain that temperature. The work light will stay on and the heat light will turn off on the control panel. Whenever the inside temperature drops approximately 4 degrees, the heat light will turn back on and the emitters will begin generating heat. The digital control will make sure the inside temperature will remain close to the setup value you entered. If your sauna has optional reading lamps, roof lamps, or color therapy lamps, these accessories are operated by pressing their respective operating buttons, located towards the center of the control panel. If your sauna has the chromotherapy or color therapy lighting, they can be operated by a special remote control. First, ensure the remote control has a battery installed. Next, press the reading light button on the control panel. The white light will come on in the sauna room. Then, use the remote and point it at the light, and press any of the colors on the remote to display that color. You can also use the shade button on the remote to display a sequence of colors. Press the power button to turn off the light at any time. This segment will discuss tips and safeguards for using your sauna. If you take a hot or warm shower or bath before you use your sauna, you may perspire more while in the sauna and experience more comfort. Your body needs to be properly hydrated, so be sure to drink water before, during, and after your sauna to replenish your body fluids. Make use of the removable roof ventilation or leave the sauna door slightly open to help regulate the temperature inside the sauna to your comfort level. During your sauna, you should use two or three towels to help with moisture absorption. Fold one towel and place it on the bench to sit on. A second towel over your lap to trap the heat for your leg and feet. You can use a third towel to wipe perspiration from your body as needed. There are some basic safety precautions to follow when using your sauna. Carefully read and follow all instructions that come with your sauna before using the sauna for the first time. Always take precautions before and after sauna use. The sauna should only be used by adults. Children should use the sauna only if prescribed by a medical doctor. If you are pregnant or may be pregnant, contact your physician prior to using the sauna, as exposure to high temperatures can pose significant fetal risks during pregnancy. People using medications for health reasons should consult their physician prior to using the sauna. Ensure that your sauna's power cord is plugged directly into the dedicated 15-amp, 120-volt outlet. Do not use any power adapters or extension cords. Make sure to inspect the sauna room and sauna components for correct operation prior to every sauna session. If anything is not operating properly, do not use the sauna and contact the manufacturer. When cleaning the sauna, be sure to unplug the sauna from the wall outlet first and use only plain water and a soft cloth. Do not use cleansers inside the sauna room. In this segment, we will address some common problems you may encounter when operating your sauna. If no heat is coming from the heat emitters, Ensure that all of the heat emitter cords are properly connected, including those on the roof and underneath the bench. 
If the cords are properly connected, but some heat emitters are still not working, the non-functioning emitters may be damaged. If you suspect non-functioning emitters do not continue to operate the sauna, please contact the manufacturer for replacement parts. If none of the heat emitters are functioning, but the cords are connected and the control panel displays the time and temperature, the cause may be the temperature sensor. If you have a spare temperature sensor, turn the sauna off and check the red and black wires on the roof near the air vent. Disconnect the wires labeled temp sensor and connect the spare temperature sensor. Now insert it temporarily through the roof vent. Then go back to the control panel and press the power button to turn the sauna back on. If the heat emitters start generating heat within several minutes, replace the original temperature sensor with the spare sensor. If the control panel is malfunctioning and will turn on but not off, and the displayed numbers are flashing, then the problem may be the connection with the control wiring harness. On the roof, find the CTRL wires. Check the connection, disconnecting them if needed. Make sure the pins are straight and then reconnect the control wiring harness securely. If the control panel is still not responding properly, contact the manufacturer for assistance. If the control panel has other issues such as lights not coming on or buttons not working, the panel may have been damaged and may need to be replaced. Contact the manufacturer for solutions. If the entire sauna shows signs of having no power, here are a few tips. First, check to make sure all power cords are connected, not damaged, and securely plugged in. Next, verify your main circuit breaker hasn't tripped. Then check the power supply box on the roof to make sure it is working properly and to verify there is no burning odor or strange smells or sounds or a high temperature. You may need to reset the power supply. Go to the roof and press the reset button on the power supply. Congratulations, your Golden Design Sauna is now fully assembled and ready to use. Enjoy your own personal sauna time at your convenience and in maximum comfort. The Golden Design Sauna is also available in a one-person model or three-person model. For additional information or missing parts, please contact the manufacturer directly.